Oakland Police Chief Leron Armstrong not holding back, requesting his immediate reinstatement. These were his first public comments since he was placed on leave for allegedly failing to hold subordinates accountable for misconduct. Our crime reporter, Henry Lee, is here now after speaking with the chief today. Henry, what did he tell you? Well, Julie, the chief says it's the federal monitor who has ultimate authority and who's responsible for him being placed on leave and not necessarily the mayor. Now, Chief Armstrong says he's done nothing wrong. I deserve to be reinstated as chief of police immediately. Oakland Police Chief Laurent Armstrong pulling no punches after being put on leave. I know that I did nothing wrong. And for me to have to fight to remain chief of police is unfair. It's unfair to me. It's unfair to the citizens of Oakland. But an outside investigation says the chief failed to hold accountable a sergeant accused of covering up two incidents, hitting a parked Mercedes in San Francisco and firing his gun in the service elevator at Oakland Police Headquarters before tossing the shell casing off the Bay Bridge. The chief says Mayor Sheng Tao put him on leave because of independent monitor Robert Warshaw and that he has ulterior motives for finding relatively minor problems in the department for financial gain. This, to me, clearly is a last-ditch effort. Uh, to destroy the credibility of me and to make the community believe that, again, OPD is involved in some shady business, and that's not what this is. Monitor in this case has a very clear self-interest for doing what he's done uh, in making this, uh, creating a crisis, which would, if he's successful, extend the monitorship. You have Warshaw that shows up once a month, creates a report to stay employed, and uh, Oakland continues to pay that heavy price. Warshaw and his firm make about a million dollars a year. If one person so much as sneezes, I get to stay. I get to do it again. Former council member Lynette Gibson McElhaney says Warshaw repeatedly moves the goalposts. This wizard who is nameless, faceless, behind the curtain, always, always playing Lucy with the football. He dangles compliance and success. Civil rights attorney John Burris is asking a federal judge to extend the department's one-year probationary period, which was set to end in May, by six months. He hasn't done anything that would justify uh, being sat down or put on administrative leave. The things are set forth in the report that were really kind of minor. This is offensive to Oakland. And as an African-American chief who's trying to change the way this police department works in this community, it's offensive. Chief, can you... Now, that independent monitor, Robert Warshaw, does not comment about his reform efforts. Now, Mayor Sheng Tao, through her chief of staff, says she's still reserving judgment until all the facts come out. Julie. All right, Henry, what are the next steps in this whole thing that's going on? Well, the NAACP will hold a rally tomorrow, Julie, to support the chief, and also tomorrow the judge, the federal judge in charge of Oakland police reform efforts, will hold a hearing, and at that point he might decide to extend that probationary period. All right. We will continue to follow this. Henry, thank you.